Welcome to the Sky Podcast. So how are you guys? How have you been? We've been staying at home quite a lot except for last year when we went to the state. So that was our first out of the country trip in in two years. And Chris, can you imagine our life before? Parang puro travel tayo for work yeah. and then immediate stop. I know. So took a lot of adjusting on my end to be honest. Kasi before parang anytime we want, tara book tayo tomorrow game. Di ba ganun? Di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Spontaneous tapos ngayon. Sama naman. Ngayon. Oh. <laughs> Coming in later sama naman. Oh. <laughs> 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 but so many things happened the past yeah. two years, though. Like, so many things have happened. Like, I think all of us changed. Yeah, even kayo, yeah. like you, you, you're living together now. You have a business together. That's crazy. Mm. How did that happen? How did oh, that hungry happen? homies. Yeah. Alam mo, pag nag-franchise kayo homies. dito, kami yung biggest <laughs> supporter niya dito. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, Slater, we can't wait for you to try the burgers. Today. Yeah. Hihintay ka lang namin pumunta dito para matikman mo siya. Or pumunta kami dyan. Wow, special. Wow. Pero, si Miggy naman hung- started Hungry Homies talaga. Um, pre-pandemic pa, he was selling sloppy joes at first sa mga bazaars. But I think he really just went full-time during the pandemic talaga. Mm-hmm. Actually, like, like a lot of people naman during the pandemic, parang... It was a shift because it was really difficult, like from a from a mental perspective for me. Like, iba nagiba kasi yung yung work ko. Because I, I used to be in events and PR, oh. diba? but no one no events right. for like the longest time. So it was really like a like laptop, like in front of your screen the entire day type mm-hmm. job and. I did. I just didn't find it fun anymore, right. and it was quite difficult for me. Kaya ngayon ang taas ng respeto sa mga agency <laughs> peeps that really like grind it out every right. day. Yeah. Like sobrang bilib. De, and dami talaga ng taong nag-adjust, especially back in 2020, because we, parang when everything was starting out pa lang, we didn't know what was gonna happen, how long it would take, um, ganon tayo katagal na sa bahay, so. You know, one of the things that Maggie found joy in was really cooking. Siyempre, ako naman, asay-say ako pag nagluluto, <laughs> di ba, tagakain lang. Um, but specifically, Tagatikim. burgers. Sobrang sarap ng burgers niya. And it kept on improving and improving. And um, since I live uh, in the same building as my brother, every weekend we would go there and my brother would taste the burgers also. And he was one of the people who actually encouraged Maggie to s- start selling burgers mm. also. And naalala ko pa when you first started selling burgers, parang 15 lang ba to friends? Like, as in, face, sa Facebook lang, sa friends lang niya, he asked if um, meron ba interested in trying his burgers. And then from there, it just started growing and growing. Wow. wow. So proud thank of you, you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank ilang, you ilang burgers na ngayon ang masasell niyo, eh? let's say for example, in in a week? Madami bro. Madami. 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 Like, like a thousand? Like, like sobrang madami. yaman ni Migi. <laughs> Basta madami. Bro. Damn. Oh, madami. Wow. And, I think, I think the reason why um, people really love like following out the brand Hungry Homies it's because they really see na kami yung gumagawa mm. like, you know I, I make sure that the burgers are awesome <laughs> before packing it kasi ako yung sticker before ako pa rin yung nagsusulat sa paper bag when I'm in town so Miggy still cooks in the kitchen every weekend so ang saya lang na it's really us right. saka yung madami namin like it's like a lot for like us lang as a team right. kasi as a it's, it's a small it's a small small business pa rin like the pandemic really brought out like the small businesses mm. yung mga yes. yung mga gusto mag try in like food right. so that's how it all started parang we just took a chance try it out with friends and then every week lang we just tried to like find something mm. that we can improve on so parang yun know, like it it kept growing and growing and right now like I think we're, we're trying to figure out ways on how to expand given that everything's starting to open up wow. again. So, ayun yung Ganda. exciting part of like, the next few steps. Is it, is it a secret uh-huh. recipe? And like, ikaw lang yung pwedeng magluto? No. <laughs> ako, burg- Kasi ako for me, ah, burgers, it's a, very, it's a very easy to make na dish. Mm. 
Pero kasi for for us, I think what what we what me Lau and I really focus on is yung every detail about about like the hungry homies experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, like from the branding, from the entire experience of like what do you feel when you get that box yeah. when mm-hmm. you open Tama. it? Like Ganda. you have this certain expectation of like what a burger should look mm-hmm. like. Ganon. Parang so we just because yun yung wala eh. yun wala during during like quarantine oh. mm. the experience excitement oh. yung mga ganap actually oh. ang ganda ng insight so, na yan so we wanted to bring that to like yeah like and the power of social media got people like interested so parang nag nag snowball na lang siya talaga mm. and also kasi i mean aside from hungry homies everyone talaga at home parang you know, we try to enjoy the simpler things in life. Ako, umaga pa lang, ang saya ko na sa kape. Mm-hmm. Kasi oh, nasa bahay tama. ka lang eh. So, you look for things that excite right. you even when you're just at home. Uh-huh. So, every time we deliver or every time we pack a burger, we really make sure na before they even open it, ma-excite yeah. na sila. So, lahat talaga from packaging to food to even all the tiny details na pag-isipan na. Sourcing the ingredients. Pero alam mo, mm-hmm. so, tama yung sinasabi niyo na uh, the experience and the power of social media to kind of make it all snowball. Because ako number one, hindi ako makain ng meat, so um, hindi ako makarelate. Pero sarap na sarap ako sa burger niyo sa experience like that I see on social media, the packaging that I the actually the branding, the website, yeah, yeah, that I actually crave burgers. And I told Slater, <laughs> like, love, can we order like a v- veggie Uh-oh. burger today? Because freaking Lorraine and Maggie posted again, and now I'm salivating again. Pinapanood like, namin vlog niyo, Lor. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I want a burger again. This is so annoying. <laughs> Di ba, love? Uh-oh. So it really works. Is it a plant-based one? Oh, oh, hey! I ate a plant-based one. So, Miggy, pina-experiment kasi, Miggy, kasi somebody sent us the Beyond Meat. Oh, oh so um, good. Oh, oh, so, sabi so ko, try babe. Try to turn it into, like, a hungry home. Oh, oh my God, please! Oh, if you open in Cebu, so, pwede naman siyang gawin for you. Yay! <laughs> oh, my God. We we really plan on, on doing, maybe, hopefully in the future, kasi we're starting to do more physical pop-ups in Manila also. Mm. So once once naka a few pop ups na kami dito, we really plan on like making other people uh, or homies from other provinces try it also. So shempre oh, Chris later oh, pag nasa Cebu so kami. <laughs> Gawa kayo ng ano yung parang sa ipudo ramen yung nakapak lahat and then ikaw yung magluluto sa bahay pero hungry homies lahat like the sauce and everything. Ayan. Kompleto na siya. I got diba? you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Lagay niyo good for one week. Iiwan na namin kayo dyan. Hindi, <laughs> pero matanong ko lang si Migi. Like, si Migi was rising, parang tumataas na yung mga ranks niya in the advertising industry. Eh. Like, he was growing oh, in the corporate ladder. So how, what was the decision na parang, oh, ayoko na. And then, was it like because Hang- Hungry Homies was there? Or paano? Was it scary or not? Super scary, actually. Because, mm-hmm. like, it was, like, really jumping, like, away from, like, a stable, stable job. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. And just betting on myself. Uh-oh. And, parang, dumating na rin kasi, kasi ako sa point na parang, like, my entire 20s was so focused on, like, grinding and figuring out, like, what I want to mm-hmm. do. Yeah. Parang, like, lahat na experience try natin. So, it led me to, like, the path of, like, marketing, mm. like, advertising, PR, and events. And, parang, it got to a point parang, I know how to do this for other people, but there was this pas- parang passion na gusto kong magawa, which has always been food. Right. Um, so, parang, maybe, like, if I try to like you know bet on myself and start start off small with like like burgers and stuff like that and apply what i learned from like the marketing perspective to it parang for me hmm, parang it, that kind of makes sense mm. parang it's a scary jump kasi syempre like hindi naman sure na papatok or like hindi naman ako sure kung masasarapan yung mga tao sa sa food namin mm. but but sarap na sarap pala sila <laughs> <So lang. laughs> no but yun so it was just really, parang I, I realized that it was really time for me to invest in myself as well. Because right. I feeling ko yun talaga yung magbibigay sa akin ng contentment Mm-mm. in terms of like career. Wow. Right. But that must have been so scary, no? Because, of course, 
you don't know what's ahead of you and the times that we were in were so uncertain. Oh, and knowing Miggy, sobrang love niya yung trabaho niya dati. Yeah. Ano, magkasama tayo. Like, na, you're so into like, it, oh. right? Miggy is... Is oh, meant for this the, job. Yes, the most <laughs> extrovert, <laughs> the most like, like naturally PR yeah. and, and fun person. Ibo lang, makulit lang. Makulit. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think it really helped na when like the pandemic happened and Miggy wanted to open, you know, like uh, a small business, uh, it really revolved around how it was back in 2020 and still is up until now. Parang um, yung logistics namin and how we built like from from cooking to delivery, it was all purely online. Kasi nga everyone's like staying at mm-hmm. home. So inisip namin ni Miggy, you know, it's not wise to open up a restaurant right now. So, ano ba yung mga things that we can do to actually cater to people? Unang-una, like, hindi ako marunong. Like, I, 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 wala akong experience. Wala akong, wala akong experience at all in the food food industry. Mm-hmm. So, we just really had to go by feel every week. Na parang, okay, kaya ko gumawa ng 15 today. Then maybe next week, kaya kong gumawa ng mga 40. Mm-hmm. Tapos pataas lang siya ng pataas. Mm-hmm. And then figuring, buying what I need equipment wise or like whatever like improvement wise as I go along as we go along actually because like well I like it, it, you just can't say the oh I'm gonna start a food business today oh. and just you know like pour everything right. one go at the because siempre like I mean also for business owners out there or people who want to start their businesses siempre if you have like enough funds to actually you know really buy everything right away, then okay naman yon. Pero, you know, for someone like us who really started with, you know, just 15 burgers nga, tas paangat lang ng paangat, I think for us, that was the actually the fun part of it. If you guys want to hear the full episode, you can check us out on Spotify. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Spotify. It's free, guys. It's free. See you there. Sky podcast. Sky podcast. <laughs>